and welcome to a quick video that will help you, the viewer, understand some concepts relating to how glass is inspected and what defects could be found in the glass PGT uses in their windows and doors. This will help in determining if your piece of glass is eligible for a replacement. Overall, PGT strives for excellence in the products we produce. We adhere to strict guidelines set by the American Society for Testing and Materials. Whether it's annealed, heat treated, laminated, or insulating, the glass we use will pass their specifications. There is no such thing as a perfect piece of glass that is 100% defect free. But knowing what to expect with your glass will go a long way. Glass distortion can be caused by many factors and will always be apparent in glass. Sometimes less and sometimes more. With more layers and added complexity, distortions become more likely to occur. The key thing to remember is that the majority of glass PGT makes is to protect the homeowner and provide energy efficiency. The processes used to ensure great results have the possibility of adding more visible distortion to the window or door. Some imperfections in glass are unavoidable. The types you might encounter are roller waves, which are a natural phenomenon from the heat strengthening process. Coloration differences, typically seen in glass with a low E coating when viewed in different lighting and suction cup marks or label residue, which may become apparent when condensation is present. However, it should be noted that suction cup or label marks can be removed. Another type of imperfection that can occur is a blemish. These can be sorted into two categories, linear blemishes or point blemishes. Linear blemishes can be caused by a scratch, rub, or other abrasion forming a longer imperfection. Point blemishes can occur from dirt, debris, fuzz, air bubbles, and other abrasions forming a small nonlinear imperfection. These blemishes are then differentiated as being light or heavy. A light blemish is not detectable when using the appropriate viewing distances, whereas a heavy blemish will be visible. Blemish location is also important in the glass inspection process. When viewing a window, the blemish location is identified as either falling within the central viewing area or in the outer viewing area. Different sizes of blemishes are allowed depending on if they're in the central or outer viewing area. To determine where your blemish may fall, it helps to refer back to the unit size we've previously determined. Once you've established what type of blemish, where it is located in the viewing area, estimated the unit size, and determined the proper viewing distance and time, you are ready to inspect your glass to see if it is eligible for replacement. Let's explore an example. Imagine you're cleaning your newly installed windows, and you notice a tiny dot in the center of the glass that you can't wipe away. What should you do now? To properly analyze your glass, we need to go a bit deeper in the inspection process. First, you'll want to take a step back from the window or door so you have a straight view of it without the sun directly behind it. We know what you're thinking now. How far away do I stand? Great question! To determine your appropriate viewing distance, begin by matching the possible defect to either the description of a point blemish or a linear blemish. Next, you'll want to determine if your glass is larger or smaller than 25 square feet. If you are unsure of your unit size, try to imagine a five foot by five foot square. This is equivalent to 25 square feet. Once you've approximated the size, select the proper viewing distance from the table. In the event you've spotted a linear blemish, Begin by standing six feet away if your unit is smaller than 25 square feet and inspect for 10 seconds. If the unit is larger than 25 square feet, you will want to stand 10 feet away and inspect the glass for 20 seconds. If the linear blemish is not visible during the inspection, your glass passes and is a quality product. 
If you've spotted a point blemish, the viewing distance will always be 39 inches away. Only the amount of viewing time will change. If the unit is smaller than 25 square feet, view the glass for 10 seconds to inspect. If the unit is larger than 25 square feet, view the glass for 20 seconds. If the blemish cannot be found, success! You have quality PGT product ready for installation or daily use. The table shown outlines all the different combinations of unit size, viewing area, and blemish type, and whether or not they are eligible for replacement. Going back to our example, if you found a point blemish on your window and calculated that it is smaller than 25 square feet, and identified the point blemish is located within the central viewing area and is larger than 1 16th inch in diameter, that window would be eligible for a replacement. However, if the same point blemish were located in the outer viewing area, the window would not warrant replacement because it is still a quality product. As a reminder, be sure when viewing the glass that you do so straight on. Glass viewed at an angle can cause other optical effects that do not warrant their replacement. Other things to inspect include checking if your laminated unit has the vinyl interlayer recessed into the glass or if it is hanging out past the edge. Is the size of the glass correct? What about chips or other blemishes along the edge of the glass? Replacement eligibility for these imperfections can be found in the table. If your glass has some kind of breakage on it, determining what kind of break occurred will help in knowing if it is eligible for replacement. There are three main types of breakage in glass and their formation is indicated by their name. They are thermal breaks, which occur due to temperature, bending or corner breaks, which are caused by torsion, and an impact break, which is caused by force. This table helps to break down the multiple types of glass breakage, location, and replacement eligibility. As an example, you might see a thermal break, like the one shown with line A. And looking at the table, we see that the only type of break not covered are thermal breaks. Therefore, that glass would not be eligible. Bending, corner, and impact breaks are eligible for replacement if they are noted upon delivery. Consideration for replacement is also permitted with the submittal of a warranty claim with a photo noting the breakage was after the unit's delivery. Whenever eligible replacement glass is sent to a customer, it is important to inspect thoroughly using the steps we've learned in this video. Key things to remember are to look through the glass straight on, use proper viewing distances and times based on the glass size, and to do your best to differentiate between blemishes, chips, and breaks before checking the tables for replacement eligibility. As always, if you need more help, PGT is ready to assist. We hope that with the information provided, you will be able to make an informed decision about the condition of your class and if it's eligible for replacement. Thank you for watching this video and learning more about PGT glass quality.